Hey guys, among other things, I'm doing a spring cleaning in the bus today, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but I'm working on cleaning out my freezer. So this is just some frozen peas, some frozen red pepper and onion, and a bag of Trader Joe's pot stickers. All that came out of the freezer except the rice. I made the rice. And then over here, that was for lunch. I've got, there was some carne asada in the freezer, so it's at the very bottom. Some steak. And I put some potatoes and onions on top. A little bit of seasoning. And I'm hoping that this will be, we can like do some steak and potato burritos or tacos tonight. See if I have a jar of my home canned beans. Make some refried beans with it. Anyway, this is what's going on on the homestead today and we'll go over to the new the little house and check it out what are you doing in there what you doing in the laundry basket are you having a moment you better not be having a moment are you just being silly are you a silly kitty kitty yeah yeah keep showing this little room but it is, has all the sheetrock in it now they're just gonna get going on the tape and bed we did your room first so we'd make all our mistakes here and then we'll do everything else really good how you like that <laughs> <laughs> all in the kitchen a little spot we've got it all in the bedroom now it makes the sound crazy it just sounds weird getting it all up in the, in the ceiling too wow that's new getting it all up there now we gotta go buy some more sheetrock Little house update. Okay, I'm in the bus. I'm getting some dusting done. But I found these clothespins. I use clothespins for chip clips. So, all I can assume is that these are the clips that got carried over here on bags of chips. <laughs> The chips are gone. At least the bags got into the trash, hopefully. I might find them hidden somewhere. And uh, there's all the clips. Oh. Just cleaning up my cabinet. Alright, y'all. Okay, I'm going to do a quick thrift haul. Uh, my last video I showed you a picture of a Pendleton bed set that I was wanting. And that I'm gonna fill the little pig up the piggy bank up for that anyway I thrifted these the other day and I, I looked them up and I'm like oh wow that looks like the blanket I want that looks like Pendleton and I tipped it up it was 99 cents and looked in it you probably don't know if you can see that tag Pendleton you want to talk about something free somebody freaking out this is the exact pattern of the blanket set I want. There's just these two pieces. Pendleton, 99 cents. I was tickled pink. But anyway, I think I want to use it as a desk a desk set instead. And like maybe tip that over. Either put letters in it or make a planner out of it. I'm cleaning up this. This is a cabinet in the bus that I'm sitting at. And I'm thinking about using it for like a desk or sewing table see keep mail in it or make it a planner I think I'll get more use out of it like this anyway and I've looked up on some bowls lately I'm pretty sure because I've done it before I can get all this off this should come off it's just probably like so yeah see it's gonna come right off so I can get all that wackadoo stuff off of there and I want to say this is not old 
like maybe 20 years, like from the 90s or something, late 80s, early 90s. But uh, I think it was just like a stock pottery bowl. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's old. This one, on the other hand, I have major lucked up on bowls lately because I showed you that green one in my last video. And that one was new. That was new. This is, I want to say this is yellowware, but it's painted green. And I found one on Etsy just exactly like this. There's no markings. That's what I paid for it, $9, which is kind of high for Goodwill or whatever. But I knew what it was. Anyway, the one on eBay is like 90 bucks, but I'm keeping this this bad boy. I love it. So, and this is thinner than this. This is very thick crockery. But anyway, I like them both. And like I said, I think I I have done it before where I can get all that off of there and clean it up. And then I found these yesterday. They were party lights and holders from Pottery Barn. They were 99 cents. Look how cute these are. They were dip, you know, dipped candles. And then they come, they go in these little glass pods. I mean, you would cut them apart to use them. So cute. You could slide that inside anything. Anyway. Cutesy pootsy stuff. I like it. You know. I finally found something to put my hearth and hand candle in. I bought a hearth and hand candle and didn't have anything to put it in. But my daughter went to California last summer to see her visit with her uncle. So she brought me back that cup. So that's my new hearth and hand candle sticking in there. And it smells really good. All right. I got to continue. See my mess? I've been purging. This is a nightmare. Because I'm not here at night. I don't get to go through my house at night and do like a nightly routine. I work nights. So, and I got to tell you, I mentally just gave up with the, having the 15-year-old in here. Let me turn you around. Anyway, having the... Well, I look awful. I worked 19 and a half hours this past pay period. So, there's a reason why I look like Anyway, uh, that's not, that's just overtime, but, uh, I just kind of gave up over the winter. I'm like, I, I can't yell at him anymore and I can't fight with him. Just like they had, uh, sandwiches from Walmart, the big subs for dinner one night when, like I said, I'm not here and, uh, I just picked the paper up for it. There's a trash bag not four feet from him at any given moment moment but he can't seem to get trash in a bag anyway i'm gonna get my face off of here so let me do this psa real quick so i've had major face demons going on here that's what graveyard girls calls them and uh trying to find all these products to try to get rid of it thinking it was like uh, acne, like, because I just turned 50, like, uh, I'm, crap, you're getting old, <laughs> changing again, anyway, but, uh, no, like, menopausal acne type thing, so you pay all these, this money for these creams and what have you is from Ulta or whatever, and they can be, you know, 50 up, 50 bucks and up. Well, I finally made an appointment with a dermatologist. It's a uh, dermatitis. Anyway, he said, anybody can get it. Mostly women and younger people, but so 30 days of an antibiotic. An antibiotic, you gotta take, you gotta get rid of this stuff from the inside out. Anyway, I see that's even what that is. It's part of this junk. Anyway, ugh. long story short, pay your 40 bucks to see a doctor and get your $10 prescription. Take it for 30 days. Oh, I'm so. 
Anyway, and then, oh, oh, and he recommend, I'm like, well, what moisturizer? Thinking he's going to tell me some crazy moisturizer I should be using. CeraVe. CeraVe. 11, 11 bucks, seven, 17 bucks. Oh, and he told me, don't you, he said, don't buy the anti-aging anything. Just the regular lotion. Ugh. That's exhausting. <laughs> anyway, so, see a doctor. Don't let it go so far or you... I look scarred. And then this, uh, a few months ago, not a, month, not a few months, a couple, one month maybe, we had paid, we went to the boat show and then bought a twofer package to get a heart and lung scan at the Advanced Body Scan in, in Oklahoma City, which is really cool. I think everybody should do it. It, it turns into a sales pitch. It's almost like one of those, uh, vacation home rental thingies but you got to listen to the pitch to get what your your discounted thing which if i could afford it i would buy it so but i just can't afford one more bill but anyway so we did the advanced body scan i have no calcium or anything in my heart which is good but i have an enlarged thyroid so maybe that's why i have a giant neck anyway ultrasound monday to see what the heck that's all about my sister has uh, I say it wrong every time Hashimoto's it's a scepter and in a goiter you know and she's trying to get them to take hers out so whatever and it's not because she doesn't eat salt she probably burn it up eating salt I've seen this <laughs> God love her I've seen her take be at the movie theater and take her salted popcorn and dip it in salt and eat it. So, God bless her. God bless us all, right? Anyway, I need to get busy. That's my my rant on why my bus is a pigsty. And I'm just cleaning and washing and switching out. Take the heated pad off of the bed and just shit that needs to get done, basically. Anyway. Oh, you continue to have a good weekend. If anything else pops up or if I make something look decent, I'll show you the after. Anyway, bye. All right, we're making progress. I got my bed linens washed and the bed put back together. And the this is some Christmas that needs to get packed and put away. And uh, that's my heated mattress pad. Pull it off. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> get it all packed up. I've got a whole bag of stuff I purged right there, and uh, I'm going to keep going, knocking it out. Bonnie, that's Charlie's bed. You like Charlie's bed better than your bed? Silly girl. Silly kitty kitty. Okay, got all fresh spring linens on the bed. I know it looks crumpled. It's because me and Charlie took a nap already. That's his blanket. And that's his little spot over there. I cleaned it up for him so he can sleep over there tonight. And you can kind of see the floor now. Much, much better. Still some things that need to be put away. Christmas. My bedding. I got it all packed up. Threw away two bags of trash. And like I said, I purged a whole bag of stuff. That coffee pot's in here because I used it to carry water over here for Charlie, the Boston. Anyway, I'm getting ready to do... Uh, I also have, you know, I made lunch. <sighs> cleaned out the freezer type stuff. And got that other stuff in the crock pot, which smells pretty good. We ran to the store, got a few extra things, chips and sour cream and some avocados for dinner and I'm like I'm gonna do something fun anyway this is a vintage light fixture and it's heavy but I'm fixing to do some DIY into it because ain't none of us thrifter crafty people can leave stuff alone so anyway I'm gonna see what I can do with this I'll show you what I do okay I want to show you real quick what I'm doing I've got this all taped 
on the top and the sides that was easy enough but how I'm doing the leaves I just covered it with a wide piece of tape then I'm taking a knife and kind of scoring it I don't have a razor blade which would have been a ton easier but it's working and it's coming out just just fine because it doesn't need to be perfect you know because if you look at the factory done you know it's not like completely perfect so anyway this is how I'm working it out here I'm gonna keep going okay I've got it all taped up Ooh, that looks crazy let's go get some paint on it okay this is the pa the paint I'm gonna use sea glass green Hopefully it comes out looking a little bit like jadeite. That's the plan anyway. Here we go. There's our first coat. We'll keep at it. Let's wind up this weekend, shall we? Get ready for Monday. Ultrasound tomorrow. Actually, the hubs has the appointment in the city tomorrow in the morning. Then we're going to come home long enough for me to drop him off, kick him out the door, get ready for work, and go to my appointment. Anyway my mountain of clean laundry bonus I don't know how many I have cooked like every meal this weekend we haven't left to go anywhere anyway uh, that being said let me show you what I made today still cleaning out the freezer cleaning out pantry stuff not cleaning out just using what I had anyway oh I still gotta show you my light fixture too I'll be back my take on red beans the rice is off to the side. I didn't mix it together because I just had instant rice. Anyway, so made that and uh, standing in my front of my freezer now. I had some pork, some ground pork in the freezer along with some of the other stuff. And I it was like two pounds. So I do what you do. You look on YouTube and find your recipe for sausage. So I made up my own sausage and we ate it in omelets this morning. We ate it in some hamburger helper this afternoon. It was in the pantry, so I'm like, let's get rid of this. And uh, anyway, so we ate that for lunch. And I had put it, started my red beans this morning and put it in there. So four, two pounds ground pork turned into a sausage and uh, ate it three different ways. Pretty good. And there's still, I've got plenty of leftovers of the red beans. So FYI, you can make two pounds of meat go a really long way if you need to and uh, <coughs> excuse me anyway everybody's got clean bed linens and productive weekend they got quite a bit done on the little house and they chopped up a whole bunch of wood so I'll have to take you back over and show you that light fixture right now here she is oh, oh, oh. There we go. Sorry guys. Turned out pretty good. I really like the color. It looks very 1930s. So, and that's what I wanted. It's going to be dark in here. Oh, that's not too bad. So this, my little lamp shade, oops, is going to, ugh, sorry guys, is going to be up there in my pantry. So that's where that's going to go. And I'm pretty stoked about it. So anyway, so that's going to go up there. Like I said, I really, really am happy with the color and how it turned out. Anyway, all my lights that I've gotten are kind of old school, like schoolhouse. Old school schoolhouse, duh. Anyway, they're all like 1930s-ish. This is what I like. See? That'll be over over the sink or over this window in here. So, that's what I want. That's what I'm doing. 1930s farmhouse or urban house. Not necessarily farmhouse. It's more rustic. Something than that. Anyway. He's got to do a little bit more. Or we got to do. Not just him. Tape in bed. They... This room is just about done, for sure. They got all. They gotta go do one or two more coats, or let it dry, and then sand it. Anyway, that's pretty exciting. 
I'd like to do wood on the inside of the window windows. But anyway, oh, well, let me show you something else. Let's see what y'all think. I bought these. Everybody knows what those are. And they were, we thrifted two of these, two ninety nine, And I was going to put that up there. Which I still can. But since my fixture, or yeah, is square. I thought about making making one, which is basically a square, oversized than that, and trimming it out nicely. You know, just putting trim around it, making my own. Instead of using a circle with a square fixture, make a square one of these. It would just be like a square frame. Because I was thinking about painting this and I either probably copper or brass copper co uh, copper or brass or even something fancier so it reflects back a little bit more anyway look what do you think should we just make one which is basically gonna just be putting trim around that you know painting it do whatever I'm gonna do to the ceiling and then trimming it out into a little square. I think I might try that. Anyway, that's the plan. So, but yeah, I'm super, super happy about how that turned out. It came out even better than I, it doesn't look like jade eyed at all, but it, I, I'm really happy with that shade of green. So anyway, y'all have an amazing weekend and get going on your Monday festivities. <laughs> anyway, bye guys. Thanks for coming to Red dirt in a dream. Because we got some red mud. Dog toys. Wood. But still, I guess we're living a dream. <laughs> Bye, guys.